sticker. I mean, this got to be a sticker where you can patch a hole in the space shuttle. What they're trying to say with this complicated language here is don't stick anything in there. Okay, in this episode, we're gonna fix the A-pillar water leak on Joachim's Land Rover Discovery 3. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, hope you enjoy the video. How you doing? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Joachim got an A-pillar water leak and we traced it down in a previous episode, right? Yeah. Going in over the door again. Nothing. And we showed you how the water was running inside. I think since then it didn't really dry up, right? Nope. Not really. But you were parking always kind of uphill, so the water was running downhill or sort of, you know, backwards up. And a bit left side, so it's oh, okay. coming up okay, the corner. Okay, so remember guys, you got to park uphill and then a little bit to the left side. So the water goes only in one corner. That reduces your damage to a quarter of the vehicle. <laughs> Good concept, I love it. <laughs> we traced it last time down to water coming in through this side here. And the only thing we really found as a cause is the A-pillar. There is a service bulletin about the A-pillar. We're going to try to replace the A-pillar seals and in order to do that the proper way so you guys can duplicate it is we use the original repair package from Land Rover according to their service bulletin. This way if somebody got this particular water leak you can just go ahead and buy the same repair kit and do the same job we did. This is not to be confused with the water leak caused by the sunroof. That vehicle does not have a sunroof. Yeah, otherwise all that stuff would stick on a piece of glass, right? Yeah. That kind of a water leak, the one caused by the sunroof, it's a completely different repair. There are plenty of videos how not to do it and also a few how to do it. And it is definitely more difficult than what we are doing today. All right, so we gonna remove the A-pillar. That's really the only thing we have to do. Yeah, because today was the first day with freezing temperatures. Oh, yeah. It is possible when it's cold like today that we're gonna break some clips. We're gonna replace all clips anyway. You know, we may we may break the A pillar cover. Oh my god, you're not gonna get mine. Christian used my mountain bike as a spare part mountain bike when I was pregnant, so he completely took my mountain bike apart. That's that is true. Out, that is completely out of context. Uh -huh. ah. That cook. Did it break? I don't know. There's the next one. Oh. Well, maybe now we can Look at see. That. You got it. Yeah, that looks pretty nasty. And there's a hole. So that might be the problem. Oh, see, this one broke off. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn it. The other ones are still good, and we're just gonna install new clips. Yeah, though, they are tough to get out. This one is out. Ausnahmegenehmigung. He's allowed to do anything. Wow, you got so. it out. He went to a Land Rover experience. Yes. Yeah. Now, Lovely. I want to go great, there. Eh? The fascinating yeah. part is that this repair package from Land Rover includes all necessary clips for only 24 euros. And you're sure it's for both sides? It's for both sides. Oh and my god. What we're gonna do next is now we're gonna look if the water leak is not going through the side of the window. I asked you to get that special stuff. Yeah. Where is it? <laughs> you weren't concerned. Just putting it right there. I know this is now a little bit expensive to use that, but it has the right consistency. Don't shear any cost to do that, okay? Oh. No. Well, that's a good sign. Yeah. I'm blowing down the corner of this seal, of the windshield, to see if it developed any leak. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's no? nothing. This is about as expensive as a repair at Land Rover. <laughs> so I don't see anything. Okay, watch it now. I don't see anything. This cavity definitely is connected to the inside of uh, the area below the A-pillar. If going it down a little bit, maybe the water comes here into here. Watch it. 
Of course, I said it was a cavity. <laughs> what we should do is maybe remove this. Yeah. To remove the wiper arms on both sides, just to investigate what's below this cover. I never had this out in my life, so I'm kind of interested to do that on somebody else's car. Yeah, yeah, sure, I know it's my car. <laughs> we'll put the hood into the service position. Oh, that's the one where the clip is missing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Now the next thing we do is we mark the position of the wipers. Yeah, I never done this before, so I'm. That's how you do it on a Mercedes. You need a pen. Yeah. I so I gotta mark this here very lightly, just in case this fits in multiple positions that we don't screw up the uh, setup. Don't use Redex wipers. <laughs> I get so many comments why we are driving Land Rovers when we could drive a nice German vehicle. I have a nice German vehicle. The most boring car okay. on the planet. We're opening this for the first time in 16 years. You know, that's why you always do that on somebody else's car first. Yeah. If we got the ever since you touched my car agreement. So if something breaks afterwards, Joachim is not going to come back and say, ever since you touched my car, the wiper is kind of off. <laughs> Put this nut on here. And then I'm going to attempt to use just a regular puller. And I'm going to give it some tension here. Okay. Uh, there we go. This is a really fine tooth blind. So without having this marked before, you would look pretty dumb out of the water now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, do you have left and right wipers uh, marked? Yeah, see, this goes now here. Now that I mention it. <laughs> oh boy. This way he can, he can say, ever since you touch my car. Can you hold this side up? Maybe. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, sounds good. So, okay. <laughs> and we put it wherever there is an opening here. Put it also in here, see? Yeah. But can we return the stuff we don't need? Do you think they take it back? No, we no, make I don't think so. It's not a common thing in that industry, no, right? not really. Okay, I'm going into that same cavity. No. Nothing. No. No, no, nothing. How's that? Nothing. Did you look down into this corner? It would have blown up, Christian. The guys in Australia can just use their red dust, so they get away a lot cheaper than we do over <laughs> yeah. here, you know? There's a clip. Oh no. There's a clip. So that we don't get a heart attack when the clip is missing. I'm gonna pour water down in this area and check if this is causing any kind of leak. Right. All right. So that water came out. Pour a little bit of water in here just to see if this confirms the same stream of water I saw last time. Yeah, that, that, stop it, stop it. Okay, so let's fix that area. We gotta clean up the white stuff because if he ever gets <laughs> into some sort of a check where they use dogs. Oh my God. He's gonna explain, oh, all we did is check my leaks. We are still gonna service the other A pillar. There we go. Oh, look at that. I hope you guys see it. Okay. This one, yes. Yeah, I can see it. So let's see if we get this one off. Oh, that was easy. Because that side was certainly touched by Land Rover before. Because he has a Land Rover snorkel. No, yeah, don't. Oh, no. Oh, that sounds dangerous. Tape. See what? here? I oh, tell it's you, closed? I tell you here the secret. In the service bulletin, it says that you're supposed to cut this stud off. And they didn't. And they didn't. On the other side, it's still on. Here, I show so you. So it's a Land Rover screw up because they mounted the car. We're gonna run out of daylight here very soon. Oh, don't stress so the much. -pillar. Here's the A pillar which was leaking, and you can see they did not cut the stud off. And here, on the one where the snorkel was installed from his buddy who works at Land Rover, the stud is actually cut off. That is the root cause of the problem. Is that this stud, you know, which is supposed to be a locator with a sealant ring 
was never cut off. But it says here in the service bulletin, remove and discard the foam washer from the bottom peg. The lower peg must be cut off flush with the surface of the trim piece to ensure no protrusion will interfere with the A-pillar bodywork. What they're trying to say with this complicated language here is don't stick anything in there. Oh my so god! Found, but they came out with a service bulletin. Okay, well, on 7th July 2005, I think this video yeah. was made <laughs> What you can do, Joachim, is take the water, yeah. clean everything up yeah, over there. I do that. And what I'm gonna do is with Vera, I'm gonna put on the official 24 euro Land Rover sticker. I mean, this gotta be a sticker where you can patch a hole in the space shuttle. As in every video, you can download the service bulletin or find the link to the service bulletin in the video description, as well as the part number for the repair package. I'm gonna use acetone to clean this, to make yes. sure it's absolutely clean. This is, this is the holy grail sticker. <laughs> I gotta remove this thing, yeah? And now I gotta cut off this pack it's flush. The smallest player. Well, that wasn't well, very hard. No. <laughs> it, it just fell off. Now I can mount the new clips. Oh, you gotta... You gotta check if I filmed. Christian. I put this sticker on here. The camera didn't work, so Vera missed all this. And I was lecturing about 10 minutes about this. You missed all of this, okay? <laughs> but I'm gonna sum it up one more time. This sticker came on this piece of backpacking paper and Land Rover bought these stickers from NASA. The way this happened is somebody at Land Rover said, well, what are we going to do with that A-pillar water leak? And then his buddy said, well, why don't you call NASA? They got for sure some special fix for it. And the guy calls up NASA and said, hey, we got this A-pillar water leak hole. Can you help us with that? And NASA said, well, we have this special tape. Why don't you put that on? And the Land Rover guy says, yeah, send us a hundred thousand of those. And then they received a hundred thousand of these stickers and they had to make that money back because NASA charged them a million bucks for it. So they said, well, why don't we just charge 24 euros per sticker and sell them out with our service bulletin? And that's how we got that sticker now. We wiped it off with acetone, we scraped everything off and we put the sticker on. So this is fixed once and for all, trust me. This is the whole story. You got it now all again in a little cliff load time lapse because Vera didn't film this. Yeah, because the camera was not working. Put this back in here. What? Let me check. Otherwise you can't say ever since you touched my car, if you yeah. do it yourself. <laughs> Good, it's on. We can put this back in, because we're running out of daylight. Yeah. Now, there are one, Dangerous. two, three, four, five clips. I think when we took yours off, it indeed had one white clip. Mine? Yeah. Oh. So oh, when we did the snorkel. Apply adhesive NASA patch. Supplied in kit DHB 500-400. So NASA patch attached. Check. Apply clip IPN 5050 to the lower A-pillar exterior trim mounting location figure 6. And so then, then say, all is fine. Install four clips, DZM, whatever, to the remaining A-post exterior trim mounting locations. They use so many words, okay? <laughs> Install four clips to mount A-pillar trim. Done. Their technicians read this stuff and they go like, ah, oh, too many words, let's just skip it. So this one goes down here and then four yellow ones go here. So how do we fix that? Hot glue? We use hot glue, good idea. Yeah. We would JB weld everything from now on. <laughs> no, we have only JB welded one time something because before that... Yeah, from now we on. We didn't even know what JB weld is. <laughs> we just learned this. Okay, I'm going to change the battery. Don't screw this up, guys. Don't use a piece of duct tape. You got to use the expensive NASA stuff, just like it says. You have to buy the clips the, anyway. The white clip on the bottom, the remaining four clips on the top, Having the seal nicely installed on each clip, put a pillar back on, water leak gone. At least I, I'm not going to tell you guys if it's still leaking. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's not your car. Yeah. It's not our car. <laughs> yeah. I know it doesn't look like it, you know. You Toyota guys, don't use your hammer here. For you, it's looking like a punch. Calibrated stuff. <laughs> Okay. You need exactly 20 clickety clicks punch, you know? Yeah. There's years of experience involved. <laughs> I think that's tight enough. Yeah. 
Are you falling over stuff? Still? Yes, look at all the chunk lying around. And we gotta put on some wipers oh. in case it starts raining. <laughs> yes, and we can go inside where it's warm. Okay, it's good. Oh, now you have a uh, you have a leak up there. Yeah, that would be bad. Okay, it's good. The only difference here is that this clip does not have this flexibility now, so we better mount it while it's still soft. Yeah. You don't need to film me waiting. <sighs> copper greasing? Put some copper grease on here. We take the wiper arm, the left <laughs> side, which we professionally stored on this side of the vehicle. And obviously, I did all this on my own. Click, click. Yeah, it seems it. to be good. Yeah. Okay, 24 Newton meters. Click, click. You yeah, didn't. So I screwed it up, okay. okay. Yeah, good. What do you call it? The tape. Now, so I'm pretty confident with this repair kit and the way we did it, the problem is gone. And in my opinion, Land Rover should have offered to the customer, hey, there's a service bulletin. It's going to cost you 24 bucks plus half an hour of labor. And this was not done. And that cost, at the end of the day now, water in the footwell, and that water could corrode the cables and could really make that vehicle a wreck. Yeah. So I think we're all done with this video, right? We got this all completed. NASA sticker is on. If you like this video, please check out our other videos. Give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing, and in any case, don't unsubscribe. And I want to thank our Patreons a lot for their support. They make these videos possible. And we'll see you next Sunday. <laughs> Very well. I tell you guys one more secret. This is regular flour. Yeah. For cheap. 99 cents. Put a lot of it on there and blow it out. You will see where that yep. flies away. You have a problem. All oh, these camps gotta go on. We forgot these camps. Oh Ooh. boy, we have, we have to open time. the hood. Okay. The Americans always say your English is so good. One German oh, said, oh, grausames English. Oh yeah, grausames English hättet ihr euch sparen können. <laughs> so not fixing a water leak can have a lot of consequences. So get simple stuff done like this. Okay. Take care, Joachim. Yeah, my feet are cold and my hands are freezing. Good. Okay, guys, Vera isn't around, so I can change my wiper blades. If you remember, a few weeks ago, I put on these wiper blades here from Ridex, and she was complaining that I didn't buy the Bosch because I was too cheap. These wiper blades are about the worst ones I ever had. They smear, they also slap against the pillar here because somehow they're too soft. They really suck and the fastening became even loose ones. So I bought the Bosch ones and I'm gonna put them on and you guys are not gonna tell Baron that uh, I had to buy them twice, okay? Here on the box it says the 550 goes on the driver's side, the 530 goes on the passenger side. Pretty neat that they put this on because it's not even in the Land Rover manual. So we're here in Robin's workshop and Tobias, he is his co-worker, is making this here for an old bell. So the church bell is gonna be basically attached to this. So he's forging the attachments. So Tobias needs to figure in this warping here on his workpiece. When he does two holes, the difficulty is that his material shortens when he punches in the two holes. So we're gonna see how he fit this now.
I think the proper term for this thing is a bell yoke. That's a perfect fit, I think. Perfect, Tobias. <laughs> Very bad. Thank you, guys.